you ever use the same password for multiple websites? Do you ever sign into Google Mail from public or shared computer? Such actions weaken your password and make it easier to steal. Google now offers two-step verification, an optional security feature that helps protect your account even if your password is stolen or cracked. This new feature helps improve security because signing in requires two things, something you know, your password, and something you have, your phone. It's much like what you might see on your banking website. With two-step verification, you'll get a short numeric code, known as a verification code, on your phone. You'll then enter this in addition to your username and password when you sign in. Let's take a look at how you sign in with two-step verification. After you sign in with your username and password, Google will ask you for a verification code. If you chose to receive a text or voice message when you set up two-step verification, Google will then send it to you on your phone. If you're an Android, BlackBerry, or iPhone user, you can also choose to generate a code on your phone using the Google Authenticator app. Enter the code from your phone. If you trust this computer, you can check this box and you won't be asked for another verification code for 30 days. To set up two-step verification, sign into your Google account and go to your account settings page. Then, click Using Two-Step Verification. On the next screen, click Set Up Two-Step Verification. Follow the directions on your screen to choose how to receive two-step verification codes. You can receive your verification code in an SMS text message, in a voice call to your landline or mobile phone, or by generating a code using the free Google Authenticator app on your Android, BlackBerry, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. But what if your phone is unavailable, lost, or stolen? Next, you'll add two backup options for receiving verification codes. Write down or print your backup verification codes. You can use these in case your phone is not available or if you are traveling. Keep them in a safe and accessible place. You also need to add a backup phone that you can use if you lose access to your primary phone. This can be a work or home phone or the phone of someone you trust, like a friend or family member. Two-step verification protects your Google account whenever you sign in from a web browser. However, devices and applications, like smartphones, the Picasa desktop application, and Microsoft Outlook can't ask you for verification codes, only your username and password. In order to help keep these applications safe, you need to use a special password, called an application-specific password, instead of your regular account password. Application-specific passwords are generated by Google upon your request, and you do not need to remember them, since you should only need to enter them once. To illustrate, let's set up the Mail app on an iPhone using an application-specific password. First, you need to create an application-specific password. Go to your Account Settings page and click Authorizing Applications and Sites. Enter the name of the application this password is for, in this case, Gmail on my iPhone. Then, click Generate. Enter the application-specific password on your iPhone, and you're done. We know application-specific passwords are long and hard to remember. That's why you don't have to. You should only need to enter these passwords once per application or device, and you can always revoke and generate a new password if needed. Thanks for trying two-step verification, and kudos to you for taking extra steps to protect your account.